So guys, I am back, man, and um, with a new microphone. Maybe I'm gonna sound a little bit better, and with a new capture card. So I might continue to do a bit of commentary over here. But first, let's just watch some cutscenes. I'll give you all the money you want. I have killed plenty of it. <laughs> Thing is, I don't want your money. Please. Just let me live. Everything you want can be yours. I'm a man of modest dreams. Dropping you from 70 stories up would get me damn near to good. But not all the way. You want something more, don't you? More than this right here? Talk to me again like you know me. <laughs> <laughs> You're gonna get on TV and tell them. Tell them what you did to Sector 7. That it was you who killed all those people. Then, you're gonna tell them the truth about Avalanche. That Avalanche ain't Wu Tao or anybody's puppet. That Avalanche fights for the people, the planet. That we fight to hold Shinra to account for its crimes. That is Avalanche. The filthy sewer rats who brought down a Goliath. You tell him that. Is that really all you want? For your names to be cleared? <laughs> that is what matters most to you? More than shutting down the reactors? Than the future of the planet itself? Huh? Damn! You're lying to yourself even now. Truth, justice, honor, freedom. Vain indulgences, everyone. Picture it. Picture a world without Shinra. Without Mako energy. A stagnant, impotent world. Now picture a natural disaster. Who would help the people? Help them recover and rebuild? You? With their old world ruined, will they thank you for the new? I'm going to give you a chance. One last opportunity to consider what your principles are truly worth. But bear in mind that time is of the essence. And what about you, Mr. President? What are your vaunted principles? What principles? Did you understand even a single word of what I told you? I know what I want, and I take it. I take advantage of whatever I can, and discard that which I cannot. There is no room for sentiment or guilt. Phew, that sword is really long, man. You son of a bitch!
the source of everything. I gotta warn you, man. This is gonna be a really long fight. Too bad. He have so much health, I'm barely just chipping off any of it. And I'm just smashing the button. Here it comes! This one's for you! Deal with that. I'll take care of them. You got this. Okay, let's go. You ready? Take it over. currently recording this on my new capture card in fact uh, the previous video was recorded using the capture card see you soon 
Um, the uh, capture card. Uh, it wasn't that bad. It's just that there's a few issues. So, one of it being that it doesn't detect HDR. So, you know how when you plug a PS4 sleeve into your TV, you that, that there's actually HDR, a high dynamic, uh, high dynamic range thing. Uh, so when you are doing this video capturing using the capture card, you do not have this HDR thing. So you might have to go to your PS4 settings to actually do a bit of configuration, you see. So that's one of the problems. So the other problem will be that for this capture card, uh, color reproduction isn't, isn't that great at all. So what I'm seeing on my TV and what I'm seeing when uh, I'm recording without the capture card, uh, it makes a big difference you see. So uh, when you see on this video, the color production may be eh, just alright. Um, even if people like me with uh, mild color blindness, you can see the difference. Uh, that means that it really makes a big impact you see. Uh, it really makes a big impact, you see. So, uh, I do not have any other capture card to compare with, but you know, this capture card is rather rather cheap. So, if you ask me, um, you know, you, you cannot say that it is a bad thing for something just over $50 compared to something that is like over, over $300 plus, right? Well, I will continue to do some video capturing on this video card and we shall see how it goes. So for now, I don't really see how bad it is in affecting the color and the recording of this video. Oh yeah, uh, another thing that people of often compare it with is the lagness, the latency. So, I don't really feel that there's uh, any latency to this uh, video capture card. So, I'm actually recording all this and playing all this through my laptop. I don't even use a TV at all. So, it's fairly alright. I don't feel any latency, I don't feel any uh, obvious lag. So, if you are just looking for a cheap capture card and you know, starting off your blog, or video gameplay, uh, this might be a good card to get. I got it off uh, Lazada, and in Lazada, it is selling at $52. Quite a good buy, in my opinion. Uh, until I get a new capture card, or uh, when I feel like I need to get a new capture card, then I might consider getting one. I got you. I'll take care of them. Why don't you lead the way? All set. Don't overdo it. I'll take care of them. 
So this capture card actually works with Mac straight out, of the, straight out of the box so we don't need to download any driver, we don't need to install any driver at all. Uh, it's pretty convenient you see. Um, for something that is $52 you cannot really compare to something that is like $300 and it's, it is so convenient you just plug in everything and um, once you plug it in properly, it just works. Gotta go for it now. A few things that I realized um, while using this capture card is that if you are recording your gameplay using OBS, a really popular software with uh, people doing video broadcasting, uh, the color reproduction might be slightly off is it so i'm comparing it using obs and quicktime so right now what you're seeing is all recorded using quicktime because i find that quicktime um, the color reproduction is actually better so in obs uh, if the color is slightly darker it is going to be really dark when you're recording it uh, and the output video is gonna be so dark that you're gonna miss a lot of that kill music. So I rather use QuickTime to record. The downside about using QuickTime is that uh, QuickTime files, when you are recording the video gameplay like this, it can go up to more than 10 gigabytes. But if you are recording using OBS, uh, it varies. But I don't see it hitting 10 gigabytes that big, you see. So maybe that's the reason why the color reproduction for for recording using OBS isn't that great but overall I feel that um, QuickTime isn't that bad you see I just recorded using QuickTime since I'm on Mac and I don't need to download additional software um, so I love how the color it is right now I love how they reproduce the colors and I don't mind having that extra extra detail and megabytes stuck in my hard disk you see. So most of the time what I do is that once I finish recording once I finish record my videos I will just put them into iMovie, do an export and that will string the size down relatively. And then I will be able to delete the raw files away. That way it's actually safe quite a bit of the time you see. So my space isn't really being choked up all the time. I free up the spaces once I export all my videos. And once it's uploaded to YouTube, I will just delete them away. You know, with my equipment right now, uh, I have a capture card and I have and I have a rather good microphone right now. Uh, I may, may I mean I may one day try to do a, a live commentary on games. But uh, looking at this point, this game is going to end pretty soon, so I might need to look for the next game to play, which. I have no idea if I have the time or if there is any other game that I want to play next. So I may be doing a video comparison of this capture card and just purely recording it on my PS4 Slim. Obviously it is going to be better using capture card I feel. Because from what I see right now, the color reproduction is good. I can record it in 1080p uh, compared to building my PS4 Slim. It's only 720p, and the color is. I wouldn't say it's good, you see. So, uh, let's see if you are interested in um, seeing my 
video comparison um, hit the subscribe button hit the subscribe button oh, subscribe oh my god that word hit the subscribe button and uh, the like button to let me know that hey you want to see that uh, video comparison and another thing about it is that uh, people are asking me like you know how 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 is that two software difference I mean the OBS and the uh, QuickTime so I may do a video recording comparing the OBS recording on OBS and recording on QuickTime so if you want to see the video recording put it in the comments below and so I should stop here and let you watch the cutscene in peace <laughs> Death was not the one ordained for you by fate. Uh. 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 Thanks. Everyone okay? Hmm. Hey, get your man. He got away. Huh. About time we made our escape too. Hmm.
sure you want to do this personally, boss? <laughs> Take Aerith and get out of here. Hmm. I'll buy you guys some time. I can stay here. Back you up. Barrett. I'm asking you. Please. Oh, fine. Have it your way then. But you better be right behind us. soldier, aren't you? Which, of course, would mean that I own you. <laughs> Ex-soldier. I quit. Secure the others. <laughs> hmm. Just the two of us. Maybe three. Let's get this over with. No. My number? Not at all. You're making me sweat. Good thing I can't prepare. This guy is tough, man. No holding back. Be fast. Settle down now. Let's try that again. You know, I have been thinking, uh, should I be playing The Last of Us 2? You know, I haven't been playing, I, I have not even played The Last of Us 1 at all, so uh, I'm thinking if I should play The Last of Us 2. Seems like it is not going to be something that... Uh, that is what I like, you see. Horror games in my cup of tea. Because I, I really hate all those jump scares, you see. Now it's just the two of us. <laughs> Let's make it a night to remember. It's on for real now? Yeah, you should be on. No holding back. Any time now. Okay. Keep it up. 
know I do. Let's try that again. Whatever. wanted to know like what kind of videos do you guys want to see those people that is on my channel or you right now who is watching this video what do you want to see next uh, comments in the comments below and let me know what video you want to see next so that I'll be able to do it um, it looks like right now people are watching more of my unboxing video and uh, I should be rolling out the uh, products review videos very soon as well so until then i hope you guys stay tuned but yeah basically i really want to know what games is nice to play next um, and what videos do you guys want to watch um, at this point of time i i really do enjoy playing games although i don't really know if you know working adults here we don't really have time to play games other than maybe saturday sunday if there is really no overtime to do yeah. and no husband duty at all then yeah i got lots of time to play games but then the thing is that is really rare so if you are wondering like uh, what do singaporeans do our time in the weekdays is just work like 7 to 8 30 is like um i mean 7 to 8 30 of course it includes all the time nobody works that long but uh, sometimes the jobs are demanding so we cannot just come home at about 9 and start playing games you see so we have to rest we have to go and do a bit of exercise and not sleep in the chair like potato couch you see couch potato you see gotta get fat really soon so we I often give myself an hour after I reach home to do all my exercises, um, burn off some of the fat before I start to think of what I want to do next. So on a good day, I can reach home by 7.15. I can start my exercise routine until 8.15 and then I can start playing game. If the train were to break down or there is OT that's it man I'm gonna reach from like 8 plus and that is all my time left so I usually go to bed like 9 p.m. well 9 p.m. is really early I know that is the time I usually go to bed but right now it's sometimes about 11 30 12 30 sometimes I go to bed at 2 30 uh, because I have work to do, I still have some studies to do Of course not studies for university and studies It's just studies for all those work that I have to complete it. My job you see is my job So it's not easy being an adult over here So do let me know what game you want to see me play next I will find that time to play my game man Anyway, I'm really excited about uh, PS5. I hope I can get my hands on one when it comes out. And I really hope there is like 4K recording you see. Oh yeah, speaking of which, um, the capture card is capable of doing 4K capturing. But uh, I have not been able to see that options uh, coming off my Mac probably a Mac thing because I see that a lot of capture cards doesn't really doesn't really support 
uh, 4k capturing on the Mac but when you plug into a PC oh man that 4k 60 Hertz is gonna come out man I do not know if that 4k 60 is gonna be really nice on PC but then for right now on Mac I just don't see that option I only see 1080p and that is the reason that I'm getting this capture card so it's of its purpose and I will meh I, I think 4k60 is something that is uh, optional for me right now uh, you know, another good thing about using a capture card is that if you have it blocks in uh, that means a, a part of the game that you know PS4 or the PlayStation or the game developer just don't want you to record uh, you probably cannot record it on your PS natively so by using a capture card you can actually uh, go past these limitations which I think it's uh, quite nice to have um, but it's not something that I I would get just to get past this this uh, limitations you see because after all if you don't get to see what are uh, the block scenes you might go and get these games you see then it actually supports these game developers and these companies so you don't want to see EA games close down one day man because that is where most of the games are and I would want them to still be around when I'm old like you know when I'm 65 and hopefully I have retired by then I want to be just sitting on my couch playing games all day so when you look at all these videos I hope it helps you to make a purchase decision whether you want to go and play these games by them on your own but don't just watch the gameplay go and play some games you support the developer, you support the company and you train your reflexes as well and I call the nation I mean and it's good for your body though not the couch potato part it's just you know hand eye coordination it trains you and it's really important you know I have been talking for a good uh, 5 minutes over here and I I have not bitten this guy man he is tough man he is really tough his counter is so much better than clock's counter or should I say I'm just getting old and games are just not really something that I can continue playing so much with my reflexes in that well anymore you see oh and uh I guess you should just watch the cutscene in peace I could end this, here and now. No, not quite. Tonight marks a new beginning for Shinra! You gotta be better than this, if you're gonna play the hero. Think they can manage on their own? You've seen them both in action. You know they can. Besides... <laughs> what was that? Gotta believe they made it out. 
hope so. Damn it. Hey, screw it. We gotta go pay. Hey. What, Red? Get down! <laughs> We're cool. Everything's cool. Ah! <laughs> Difference. <laughs> hey, still in one piece? <laughs> yeah, somehow. Okay, so guys, uh, this is the part where I'm gonna stop the videos. If you like what you are seeing right here, please hit the subscribe button and the like button or even comment below to let me know that you like them. So without further ado, I'm gonna see you in the next video. Peace out guys, stay safe.